Welcome to learning about the Ethernet module, time server settings. The first thing we need to do is we need to go over here to the folder tree, left click on the automation plus symbol, and come down here to sunrise sunset. As you can see here, I do not have latitude and longitude, nor have I set up my daylight savings time. That's the first thing I need to do. So I'm going to go up here to select city, and this is actually the city I'm in. So I'm going to click on use these settings. As you can see, everything's purple because I haven't sent it to the control yet. And down here under the calculate button, I need to go ahead and calculate it. And you'll see here that my sunrise sunset time will now change. So the first thing I need to do is I need to send this to the control panel. It turns it yellow, so I need to go ahead and save that information. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and left click on the minus button to close that. Go back to my account details page. And now I'm going to come down here and open up the XCP tab. As you can see here, the last one is actually the time server tab, so I'm going to left click on that. As you can see here, this is actually all the information. Now down here at the very bottom, it's talking about the local time zone, and I just filled that information out under that sunrise sunset tab under automation. So this is now current. I need to go select a time server. Once you left click on this one, it's going to be the S2 servers, you're actually going to bring up a stratum 2 time server. We highly recommend you using a Stratum 2 time server. And you can actually scroll down through here. You will actually find your state. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find my state, which is clock1.unc.edu. This is an open access, and I do not have to tell somebody that I'm actually connecting to it. The ones that say yes, you actually need to email this person and saying, go ahead and let them know that you're actually going to be connecting to their time server. After you select the right state, we need to put that information into the XCP here. Now, you actually need to have this thing update, and it's whatever time you'd like to update. The rule of thumb here is be careful that you're not updating this and re-triggering a rule. So if you do it at 2 o'clock and there's a rule that actually is going to work at 2 o'clock, then that rule may work two times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick some random time in here. I'll just pick a weird time. I got 3.07 a.m. So this is when actually the Ethernet module is going to go out, connect to this time server, and automatically update. When this box is checked, an email will only be sent out to the email address saved in your DynDNS tab when there is an error and counted in updating your time. There's also a test button. As you can see down here on the right hand side, I've modified all this and so I've added all this information so I need to send all this information to my XCP and also need to save it. So I'm going to go up here and save this information. I'm now going to go down here and send it. You know we've done this a lot of times. So you know this will take a minute. I will also will reboot this after it gets done sending all the information. I'm going to go ahead and reboot my XCP. Now I'm going to come back in and reconnect to my panel. After you connect, you can come back down here and hit the test button. Just be aware that unnecessary repeating testing of this may result in the time server blocking out your XCP's IP address. That is something to be aware of. In case it doesn't work the first time, you might need to go check a few settings. This will conclude the time server tab of the Ethernet module.